I will start by removing the head of the generator. To remove this cover, you have to remove these two 8mm bolts. You can use a wrench, a socket, or even a screwdriver. Set the two screws aside. Then, pull the cover. As you can see, these dried pieces are from the flood. Pull these two terminals of the voltage regulator. Then grab an 8mm socket and remove the two bolts that holds the voltage regulator. Then lastly, pull this electrical socket. Next is the center bolt of the armature. You can use a 12 mm wrench or a socket and tap it with a hammer to loosen it. But there is a problem. If you try to loosen it, it only rotates. Grab a vice grip and lock it on the Ricoh starter flange cup. Put some pieces of wood to contradict the movement of the engine. Then grab your wrench and hammer and try to loosen it. This is the center bolt. Next is to loosen these four bolts. Use a 10 mm socket to remove those bolts. Lightly tap the front cover to separate the outer casing. Use a wood or rubber to prevent damaging the aluminum casing. But it appears that the front part has rusted with the middle part, causing it to be separated as a whole. Use a 12mm to remove those four bolts. Here is an indicator on where the upper part should be. Return the four bolts so you don't misplace them. Penetrating oil is useful on rusted parts. Put the wood underneath the flywheel. Make sure it is placed on the metal part, not on the cooling fan. Then grab a 19mm socket for the nut of the flywheel. Now when you tighten it, the flywheel rotates. In order to contradict it, you can use a pipe wrench. Place and lock it into the recoil starter flange cup. Then try your best to loosen the nut. And there you go.
this is the flywheel. Spray again some penetrating oil. Then reinsert the nut. This will act as a stopper to prevent the flywheel from falling. Grab a piece of wood and a hammer. Hit it a few times until the flywheel comes loose. Then pull the flywheel away. WD-40 did its job. Remove the dipstick and drain the oil. Grab a 10mm wrench and remove the two bolts of the ignition coil. Here are some wires that we need to disconnect. Here is the whole assembly of the ignition coil. This wire is a ground. I will just loosen this using a 14mm wrench. These wires are connected to the oil level switch which will be removed later. Loosen and remove the four bolts of the engine rocker cover. These are 10mm bolts. Surprisingly, the internals are quite clean. Remove the four 12mm bolts of the engine head. These are two bolts at the top, another two beneath inside the engine. Then, carefully pull the engine head. This metal piece is called push rod. It pushes the rocker arms to open the valves. These pieces could be a dried mixture of oil and carbon deposits. Carefully take off the head gasket. On the side of the engine, remove six bolts of the crankcase cover. You can do this trick too. Use a closed wrench and lock it into the cover and pull it.
all gaskets will be replaced. The engine is pretty clean too. I tried rotating it and everything moves fine. Pull the camshaft. Here you can see that the condition is still good. Take off the two valve lifters and keep it aside. Remove the two bolts of the rod cap. Use a 10mm wrench. Next, I need to push the piston upwards. For that, I need to rotate the crankshaft while keeping the connecting rod in place. Use a small piece of wood to push the connecting rods upwards. Then pull the piston. A problem here is that the primary piston ring is currently stuck due to rust. The cylinder walls will be cleaned first to determine the condition. Next, the crankshaft needs to be removed. Just use a piece of wood and tap the end of the crankshaft a few times to push it on the other side. This is where the oil seal sits. This is the crankshaft of this GX160. Next thing to remove is this oil level switch. Use a 10mm socket to remove the two bolts. The outer nut is 14mm. I already loosened it earlier. Don't forget that it has an o-ring on it. Next is this governor arm. Loosen its knot using a 10mm wrench. Then pull the arm. Here is a small collar pin. Just pull it and the shaft underneath will fall off. Don't forget to remove this washer. Push the oil seal using a flathead screwdriver. 
then remove these two 10mm bolts that holds the flywheel cover. And there you go. Each part will be cleaned on the next video. Thank you very much for watching and God bless.